Now this wine, if you want something to get you drunk, baby, get this, okay? Get this. Hey, what's up guys? If you're new here, I'm Ikea. Welcome to my channel. I post a variety of content. I post reviews and hauls. I post millennial home ownership videos. I also just post vlogs of my day to day life. So make sure you subscribe before we even get started. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around and join this family. So this video has been highly, highly requested. Um, I posted a video a few months back of my favorite cheap wines. And y'all going crazy over that video. So I definitely got to give y'all a part two. So I do these cheap wine videos to put y'all up on game. Um, in the past, I have spent way too much money on wines that were disgusting. Uh, wines are hit or miss, and I don't want y'all to have any misses. So if y'all like these type of videos, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. So let's just get right into the video. Before we even start, we're going to have us a glass of champagne. Um, I'm drinking some Bel Air. Yeah, cheers. Mm. So today we're gonna start with the wines first. Um, all of the wines are really inexpensive. They're all under like $15. And the champagnes, I have two inexpensive champagnes and I have two a little more higher end champagnes. So the first wine we're gonna go with is one of the most popular wines and that is Stella Rosa. Um, everybody on my last video like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't include Stella. Oh my gosh, where's the Stella? But Stella is good, right? I like Stella. They got all different flavors. Right now, I got blueberry in my hand, and I also have watermelon in a can. But just hit me out about the Stella, y'all. So, Stella is good, but it just tastes good. Like, I don't be feeling drunk after I drink Stella, so that's why I didn't include it in that first video. But y'all love Stella so much. So, I'm going to give y'all what y'all asking for. Y'all wanted me to review the Stella. I do like Stella, but the alcohol percentage is just way too low for me on here. Um, yeah, like it's giving 6% alcohol. Like, girl, I mean, you taste good, but it's ju it's giving juice. So, I like Stella, y'all, but it wouldn't be like, if I'm trying to get drunk, I wouldn't be like, let me go grab the Stella, you know? But it does taste good. It's nice and sweet, all that good stuff. Just a little disclaimer, I'm probably going to butcher all of the names, but y'all can just take a little screenshot and just go to the liquor store with that. <laughs> just go to the liquor store with vibes, okay? One of my favorite, favorite, favorite wines right now is this uh, Dolce. Um, it's really good. It's a red wine. It's sweet, but it also has like that acidy taste. Like It gives like a champagne fizz, but it's wine. It's like half and half or something. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really good. This is like my, this is like top two for me. I would always just go grab this. Um, when I drink it, I don't feel super drunk, but it does have a really good taste, especially when it's cold. The next one that I have is the Rock of Ages uh, Blushy Fork Red. Now this one, if you want something to get you drunk, baby, get this. Okay, get this. Uh, I actually got this one from North Carolina. Uh, my mother, well, my family is from North Carolina. And my mother went to North Carolina and she got a wine at the, grocery, at the liquor store. And she was just like, oh my gosh, it's so good. We was tore up. So she got, she ordered a case. She ended up ordering a case and they shipped it here. So she gave me one out of her case. And y'all, if you want to be tore up to the floor up, but don't want to take shots of liquor, get this wine. I'm telling you. Like, I'm telling you, you're going to be drunk. You will get drunk, okay? This is, it tastes good, too. It tastes really good. Um, since it is from North Carolina, I haven't seen it in the liquor stores here. But you will check your local liquor store. If you're in a different state, y'all might got this. So, just check. If not, you can probably Google it and order it and ship it to you like how we did. So, this one good. But you're going to be drunk, so drink responsibly with this one, okay? The next one I have is the Carlo Rossi. This is really good. They have all different types of flavors. Right here I have the pineapple and I also have the watermelon. These two are good. Um, you won't be super drunk, but you'll, you'll have a little buzz, but you won't have a headache. You know, like, it's cheap, but you ain't gonna have no headache. 
Um, these I want to say like $5.99, $4.99. Very cheap. You can buy a few of these. You can get all different flavors and come to the party like, hey, what's some wine? And you only pay like $4.99 for them. Okay, so this wine is the Riscata. Um, when I talk about top two wines that I really enjoy, this is one of them. Um, I would have to say the Dulce and then this one. It's so good, y'all. Both of these two, I think I really like them so much because they like fermented wines or something. Like, they have that acidy taste. Like, that champagne taste, but it's still a wine taste. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But, this one is really good. It's um, it's sweet. Um, it's a Moscato. You won't be, like, super drunk, but you'll have, like, a cute little chill. It's a cute situation when you drink this. The next one, I don't even know how to pronounce it, XIO. This one, I actually happened to pick up on this on accident. Uh, this was on sale at the liquor store. I think it was $1.99. It was just like, oh, $1.99, like they're trying to get rid of them. So I was like, oh, let me let me just get one. It's $1.99. Y'all, this one is good, okay? This is good. Um, it's a light Moscato. It's real light. It's real cute. Y'all gonna like this one for sure. Try this. If y'all had this, try it. And let me know how much it costs near you. Because I haven't seen this since I got it on that $1.99 clearance. So let me know. Because I wonder how much this really costs. I mean, it better not be that expensive. Now, I know this one was featured on my last video. But they have a different flavor. So, I'm going to feature that flavor on here. And this is the Riscato. Um, right here, I have the Sweet Rosé. The last, my last video, I did the Sweet Red. And I just have them in cans this time, but they do sell the bottles. I love the Riscato Sweet Red, so I'm sure the Sweet Rosé is going to be just as good. I haven't bust them open yet, but I probably will, you know, bust that open tonight. Well, no. And last but not least for the wines... So this last wine that I have is the 19 Crimes. The one that I have doesn't taste too good, but I have been seeing a whole lot of people post the Snoop Dogg 19 Crimes. So on each bottle, there's like a picture of a person, and they have one with Snoop Dogg on it. Try that one, okay? Try that one. Don't, don't take my word for this and saying that this one is really bad, because it might just be the flavor that I have. Yeah, it's like hard chart. That just don't even sound good. I don't know why I would buy that. Hard chart, that's a dub. Don't buy that. And this one is a 2018 red. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't super sweet. But let me know if y'all had the Snoop Dogg one. Or let me know, like, to maintain crimes to try. Because maybe I just didn't choose the best ones. Alright, now we're going to go to the champagnes. Um, these would be good if you're making a mimosa. But these also taste really good if you're just drinking straight. Like me. We're going to go inexpensive first. And the Cooks. Everybody know about Cooks. Um, lately, I've been liking Brut Champagne. Um, in my last video, I showed y'all the Sweet Champagnes. If you haven't seen that one, go watch it. But the last time I gave y'all like Sweet Champagnes, lately, y'all, I've been on the Brut. I don't know, just something about the Sweet. I don't really, I'm not feeling no more. So I've been drinking Brut. And Cooks is a super inexpensive Brut Champagne. Um, this like $6.99. You mix it with a little bit of cranberry or a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of pineapple, and you got your mimosa. Or you can drink it straight if you're just trying to get drunk. The next one I got is Prosecco. This is the Lamerica Prosecco. This is so good, y'all. Um, this one is like brute too. So you can mix this uh, for mimosa if you don't really like the brute taste. But if you found the brute taste, child, take this to the head, okay? Um, I was watching Insecure, and Issa asked for the Prosecco when she was on a date. And I was like, I ain't never tried Prosecco. Like, let me get that. She get out on a date, it's probably a real cute drink. Um, yeah, and I, I did like it. The Lamerica, I've had a few different brands of Prosecco. And the Lamerica has been one of my favorite Proseccos that's, like, inexpensive. So, try that. So the next champagne is my favorite champagne. This is what I drink like on a weekly basis. So Rick Ross sponsor me because I'm literally a bad girl. I'm spending way too much money on your champagne. 
<laughs> this one isn't uh, cheap, but it isn't expensive. Uh, this is maybe like $25. So this is the Bel Air Rosé. This is the pink bottle. They have all different types of um, Bel Air. The one that I do not like is the white bottle. That The white bottle Bel Air is strong. I usually can just drink champagne straight, but that one, I'll be having to put a little bit of juice in it. <laughs> but this pink rosé, I really love this one. Um, like I said, in my house, we be drinking this like once, twice a week. We like this one a lot. So, if you want to go up, you, you trying to get cute or you trying to, you know, pop a little bottle, but you don't want to spend too much, you can get some Bel Air. Like, it's like high, it's like high class, but it's cheaper, low class price, you know? And you'll actually get drunk. If I have like two glasses of Bel Air, oh, I'm busted. Like, I'm tall, okay? So, yeah. Get this if you're trying to get drunk at a cheaper price. Yeah, get this. And last but not least, this one isn't really budget friendly. I mean, it isn't crazy expensive, but it isn't cheap. How we doing cheap. Um, and this is the Clico. Clico. Everybody know about Clico. This is the Rosé Clico. Let me take it out. It came in a case. Um, this is probably a... Clico is usually about like $50, $60 around here. Oh, I don't want to take it all the way out. But this is the bottle. And yeah, this is this will probably run you like, um, like $56, $57. That's a, kind of a lot for one bottle because like I said, the Bel Air gets you drunk and it tastes good. And it's also, the Bel Air is black owned. It's black owned by Rick Rose. And... I mean, I can get two bottles of Bel Air for the price I just paid for one Clico. But if you're trying to be cute, you're trying to be fancy, a little, you know, pinky up, high class, go ahead and get your water Clico. Pop that. You'll be real cute. And it tastes good. Let me show y'all the bottle up close. And Top Dog is the Moet. I think I featured this in my last video. I'm not sure. But if you're trying to go big boy status, get you some Moet Rosé. This is good. But again, it's like the Clico. I want to say it's about like $60, $65 a bottle. I can get like three bottles of Bel Air for that same price. And child, you can get freaking 15 bottles a day on Cooks for that same price. But Cooks, it, this don't even compare to this. But yeah. So... Get you some Moet if it's your birthday or something. You definitely got to get a bottle of Moet for your birthday. Birthday, anniversary, all that. So that is the end of the part two of the wine haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a part three, let me know because I got a few more wines. I literally, I got a few more that was not in this video. If y'all like these type of videos, make sure y'all hit the like button so I can continue to provide this type of content. Uh, also, leave me some feedback in the comments. If you've tried these ones or after you watch the video, make sure you come back, leave a comment, and let me know if you liked it or not. And, yeah, follow my Instagram. I post videos and I post lines on there all the time. And until next time, guys.